this is also not a theory. This we have practiced or we have experienced, we have studied, we have observed on ground. And if we create a master plan for urban rivers, what should be, what should that be? It has to be climate res resilient and for which we need mapping of all the existing things which are there on the river. It could be the stresses, it could be the potentially ecologically sensitive areas. Then if you are planning in situ interventions like bridges, burns, coffer dams, cativiers, whatever, and including plantation, it has to be actually done before that a scientific thorough research needs to be done because plantation of anything will actually harm the river than actually be useful to the river. XC2 actions which are happening along the bank, something like riverfront development, they are actually not XC2 because they are also entering into the rivers. So it is in C2 and XC2 encroachment. That also needs a lot of research, observation and planning. More efforts of managing solid and liquid waste and encroachments at source. More emphasis on vigilant monitoring system, a protection of sensitive areas and high level interventions like metro pillars or any other infrastructure which is coming has to be treated differently, but after proper planning. So it's not just about saving your birds, bees and trees, but it's also saving about us. And that's why we came with the six uh, pointers plan for river revival is improve river health, improve the river flows, connect the people to the river, try to understand the heritage value of the river. Now, the, the rivers which are flowing through Western Ghats are, have been originated from one and a half crores of years ago. So what ecosystem they have created, what landscapes they have created needs to be understood well the biodiversity and climate re resilience with that if we are in the city obviously there has to be a balance between the ecology economics the equity and social justice that the everybody or, or every citizen has to be part of it so from headwaters to mouth if i look at i will correlate everything with the flows of the river. The linear flows, which are the surface flows, which can be seasonal flows and monsoon flows. The lateral flows, which I will consider as a subsurface flows where the infiltration, percolation into the subsurface goes. Vertical flows will be the groundwater flows, which flow vertically after the recharging of the aquifers, how the vertical flows by water table will start coming. And if we manage these three flows, the temporal flow, which is useful for the, or uh, which will be uh, to create the hydrological cycle uh, in a better position, will be the temporal flow automatically get adjusted according to that. So we started working on this. I will quickly rush through. Yes, we did study about the catchment areas. We studied about the free catchment areas. We also studied about the shallow aquifers, their recharges, their discharges. I'm showing this map, but all this happened in association with the expert, uh, other expert NGOs who are uh, experts in geomorphology, who are experts in the groundwater, the aquifer, the spring sheds, the springs, and all that. So we started mapping, and then we came out with the program, which is a light, dark, light green, dark green, and bright green movement which is all inclusive to change the existing conditions we require a social change a strong will of people which converts into a political willingness if there is a pressure build up a public pressure influences administrative priorities how masses can be made more aware more water literate more responsible and more participating understanding the gap which is whatever programs we are creating is there any gap between that or the lack of programs to engage the citizens meaningfully or on a sustainable basis was the basic thing so what we decided we should catch the low-hanging fruit first and we launched this Muthai river festival in 2015 
I'll just quickly have this video clip for a short while. Uh, we can't hear the audio if there is an audio. Shall there be?